Welcome. Welcome to our Wednesday night healing meditation service. I'm Reverend Serena Hemmer, and we're here every Wednesday at 6 p.m. at First Unity Spiritual Campus. Each week we have a different facilitator guiding the meditation. Tonight I'm going to play two roles. I'm going to be guiding the meditation and I'm going to be playing some of my crystal healing bowls tonight. I'm also a Reiki master and I'll be sending distance Reiki love to everyone. A few things I'd like to talk about before we get started is now that our doors are closed, our hearts are still wide open and so are our virtual doors. We have something new called the power of three. So I want to introduce you to the power of three. There are three ways to watch us now. All of our services and a variety of workshops and classes. You can see them on Facebook at Unity Campus, on YouTube, First Unity Spiritual Campus, and now on Vimeo at Unity Campus. You can also watch our weekly conference call with Reverend Dr. Temple Hayes. There are three ways to connect. You can <clears throat> call us at 727-527-2222. You can contact us through prayer at firstunity.org. Or you can mail us at 460 46th Avenue South Street. Oh, no, that's not Street, it's Avenue in St. Petersburg, Florida, 33703. And there are three ways to give. Again, you can text us at 727-800-3493. You can go to firstunity.org forward slash donations or mail your donation again to 460 46th Avenue North, St. Petersburg, Florida, 33703. So here I am in our beautiful sanctuary full of wonderful loving energy. And it's quite unusual because usually we have a full house on Wednesday night. So I want to let you know that I know for certain that the energy of love and healing can surpass the time-space continuum. I've experienced that with my telehealth clients as a mental health therapist these last three or four weeks. And I've been able to get what I call my angel tickles when someone makes a shift just like I do in person. So know that even though you may be used to being here in person or you're always watching online, you're going to receive healing love through this meditation and the sound vibration of the crystal bowls. So wherever you are, find a nice comfortable place to settle in and just settle in and keep your hands and your legs uncrossed and we'll go on an inner journey. We're going to retreat in tonight. Take a deep breath. And on the exhale, just blow it out. <laughs> and let go. Begin to let go of all that's going on around you in the world, in your life, in your family. Just let go. Take another nice deep breath in, filling your whole body from the base of your torso all the way up to your lungs and your throat. And hold it for just a moment. And again, on your exhale, let go. Let go of anything that is no longer serving you. There's no need to think about anything from a moment ago or anything a moment into the future. Just be here now and begin to give yourself permission to relax while I play the crystal bowls. 
and continue to take nice, deep, deep breaths from the base of your torso all the way up into your body, expanding, filling, expanding, filling, and letting go. vibration of the bowls. Allow the sound to begin to relax your body. And feel the relaxation moving up from your feet, like you're stepping into a nice, cool pool of clear, clear water. And the relaxation moves up to your ankles and your shins and your calves. And you feel the relaxation coming up to your knees a cool, comfortable relaxation while you notice how your breath just moves in and out of your body so effortlessly. There's nothing you need to do to breathe for spirit breathes you. Continue to just notice the natural rhythm of your breath as you feel the relaxation moving up to your thighs and your pelvis and hips and you feel the comfort of the relaxation moving up into your abdomen, your solar plexus, your ribs, your chest and your shoulders. You feel the relaxation in your throat and your face, your lips, your cheeks, your jaw. Oh, just let them drop. You might want to place your tongue gently behind your two front teeth. This helps your jaw relax. And you feel your eyelids relax, your forehead, and even your scalp. You feel everything relax, and you feel the relaxation now pouring and flowing down the back of your head, your neck, your shoulders, again, down your arms, and taking any other stress or tension 
right on down and out through your fingertips. You can even wiggle your fingers a bit and let that tension go. And feel the relaxation moving down your spine, down to the base of your spine and across your lower back, relaxing your entire back as it flows down towards your hips again and your buttocks and your thighs and right down the back of your knees and your calves to your ankles and feet again. And now as you go inward if you haven't already, you can close your eyes gently. Keep your inner eye, your third eye, open and ready to receive information that can benefit you in the here and now. And with your inner eye open, scan your body, your physical body. Just scan it inside your inner body starting with your brain and going down, down through your throat, your esophagus, your lungs, in through all your organs. And notice, notice if you see some stress or tension or dis-ease anywhere. Just notice it. There's no judgment, no need to do anything but notice it and observe. Continue scanning on down through each organ and system of your body. Scan your muscles and your joints and just observe. Take note. Take note with no judgment, no fear, only observe with love. And scan again from your feet and up, your muscles, your joints, up into your organs. Make sure you haven't missed anything. And just observe, again without judgment. While you continue to breathe naturally and comfortably, without effort. And when you've completed your scan, then take a nice deep breath. And as you do, breathe in the pure essence of healing love. With each inhale you breathe in the pure essence of healing unconditional love and as you exhale naturally you breathe out any stress, any tension, any fear, anxiety, any dis-ease. Continuing to breathe in pure, unconditional healing love and exhaling out anything that is not needed in your body, in any of your organs, your joints, your systems, your muscles, your bones. And as I play the crystal bowls, continue this process of breathing in pure, unconditional love and breathing out, letting go of that which is no longer needed, that which is not edifying you, that which is hmm, just not needed at this moment. Continue to relax deeper and more comfortably. And let the vibration of the crystal healing bowls travel through your body, 
let the vibration heal for it is all pure love vibration of your heart chakra, this vibration of love flows through your entire body, healing every single cell. vibration of the zeal point chakra at the base of your neck, the base of your skull, sometimes called the mouth of God. Feel your zeal point chakra opening up as well as your throat chakra. so that you may speak your truth in protection of yourself and speak love to others. This is your root chakra grounding you so you can stand in your power Staying true to who you know you are. This one is for your third eye, your intuition. You can move into it and trust, trust the information you receive through your third eye chakra. And this one is your crown chakra, the connection to all that is, the connection to creator source, Feel the love, wisdom, knowledge, healing energy of all that is creator source coming down, down through the crown and down through your whole physical body, healing every single cell. for love. There's only room for love in your body.
Love is who you are. Who you've always been. And who you always will be. Know that. From the deepest areas of you, know that you are, always have been, and always will be. Love. And nothing can come against love. For love heals all things, always. magnificent you are you are a magnificent manifestation of love and no harm can come when we recognize completely and wholly that we are love. recognizes the love that they are and where everyone recognizes that everyone else is love too. Imagine a world where there are no more words that begin with D-I-S. So there would only be E's. contentment ability comfort I imagine you can think of more words without D I S in front of them. Engage. said it already but I'll say it again connect and we can still connect we can move right into our heart chakra 
and we can send pure healing love anywhere to anyone, anything, at any time. How amazing is that, magnificent one? That's pretty amazing. Did you know that's how powerful you are? And it's easy. What we think about becomes. So think about love in all its many aspects and forms. to feel yourself surrounded, enfolded, and infused with love, by love. And healing begins by loving ourselves first, not from our little ego mind, from our immense God heart, big difference between our little ego love of self and love that comes from a heart connected with Creator Source. That is a love that is not selfish. It does not boast. It does not envy. seem like these are uncertain times. Always return to love. For fear and love cannot exist in the same moment. you choose? Do you choose to recognize your magnificence as pure love? Do you choose to trust the power of love? given the ability to choose each moment
how we show up for ourselves as love and how we show up then for others. For Jesus, Yeshua ben Joseph reminded us to love our neighbor as ourselves. Remember the as yourself. So again, picture every cell in your own body and love it. Love every cell without judgment, no matter what. Love every cell in your body without judgment. No matter what. Unconditionally. Take your time and imagine all those cells that make up your physical body. Maybe even see them as little hearts full of love. And notice now how your body feels. Just notice it again without judgment. So full of love and the knowing of who you truly are. You're just love <laughs> stuffed into your human being outfit. We all are. And the expansiveness of this love that you are. Now send that love to those closest to you. Those you love the most. Biological family, spiritual family. Friends. distant relatives as you send the love take your time and really feel that connection heart to heart feel your body overflowing your whole physical and spiritual bodies are overflowing now with pure unconditional love to those you love the most and see their entire physical body healed, whole, healthy. See every cell in their body as love. Maybe imagine again little hearts instead of cells. Sounds corny, but it makes a difference. 
or what we think about becomes. See every cell in their bodies healthy now. And continue on to friends that you may not see very often, but are in your heart and that you care about. And wrap every cell of their body with love. See that as love. See every cell in their body as pure, unconditional love. Because that's what it really is. Every cell and everyone is love. It doesn't matter what kind of cell it is, even if it's been identified as some sort of disease. See it as love, every cell. Now expand that vision to co-workers and others that you see occasionally or talk to occasionally. See every cell in their body as love, healthy, unconditional love. Just imagine if each one of us recognized the ability to see others as whole and healthy. Miracles happen all the time. I know. I've experienced them. I'll bet you have too. Consider those you've never met. And that's a lot of people. And send that love to them and see them as whole and healthy and see every cell in their bodies as love. Take your time now. That's a lot of people. But you're powerful enough to do that. You're a magnificent manifestation of creative source of God. And God is love. 
See how simple this is? It's quite simple. God is love, and love heals all things. It's up to you how far you want to go with this. You can send love to every animal on the planet. You can see it, every single animal. You can see every single animal as love. How about every plant? every body of water. Every rock, every mountain, every valley, every seed. <laughs> See how far you can go? You're that powerful. Jesus told us that we would be able to do all the things he had done and more. Do you believe that's true? many or the healing came through him just like it can come through you ourselves to be a pure channel of healing, love, it's a choice. knowing and an acceptance of the truth of your beingness.
Are you ready? The time is now. The time is now. To recognize who you are in all your magnificence. It's up to you. Do you choose love today? Will you choose love every day? We are the ones we've been waiting for. an opportunity to accept your magnificence to accept the love that you are and to send that love out to everyone and everything on this planet now. Being love in action it doesn't have to be large or huge or put your name up in lights. It can be meditating in the quiet. With a focus on love.
Notice how you feel knowing that you are love, always have been and always will be. Notice how you feel having loved every cell in your body. Notice how you feel having loved those that you love and know. Notice how you feel having sent that love to those you've never met all over the planet. What a difference you've made tonight. Thank you. And beginning to notice your breath as it effortlessly moves in and out of your body. Feel your body in the chair or on the floor or the couch or wherever you are. Take a deeper breath, filling your whole body the breath of life, the breath of love. Begin to align your spine, rotate your shoulders, wiggle your fingers and toes. And when you're ready, gently open your eyes and be here in this perfect now moment. Namaste. The light and love in me honors the light and love in you. This weekend is Easter weekend, and we have some really beautiful services coming up this Sunday. We have Easter sunrise service that will be live streamed beginning at 6.45 a.m. on our Facebook page and later on YouTube and Vimeo. And then we have our magnificent 11.30 a.m. service on all three sites, I think. Yes. And we have not only our internationally renowned spiritual leader here from First Unity Spiritual Campus, Reverend Dr. Temple Hayes, but we also have a special video visit from Marianne Williamson. So what a way to begin a new day, a special day, the celebration of Easter. So I hope you'll join us. It starts at 11.30 a.m. and goes till whenever it ends. <laughs> And it's always magnificent. Many blessings. Thank you.